This is Jenkins Farms. So while it's too wet to be doing anything in the field, we're going to get the cotton picker where it's 100% sitting on go. As you can tell right now, it's in transport mode. I've already raised the accumulator. That's the tall part. You can see that cylinder there. So it raised that accumulator straight up and uh, it allows us to get to the grease tank. You remember me talking earlier in the year how the all the bars in the heads are full of grease. We have to grease them every day. So we're gonna fill up the grease, the onboard grease tank. So here's a 55 gallon drum full of grease ready to be put in there. That's what it looks like. We'll use this grease pump, which is a hydraulic motor. It runs off the hydraulics on the cotton picker. Um, we do that here, hook up the two hoses and there's the grease fill hose and it'll fill up our tank that's over on the other side of the picker. And I'll show that to you in a second. So let's get it going and uh, I'll show you a little bit more about it. All right, so we got her all hooked up now. The hydraulics in the picker are running the pump. If you watch, you can see it slowly being sucked out of the tank. I'll take you upstairs and show you where it's going. We'll walk across the feeder belt here. I'll tell you more about that in a little while. Here's our tank. see anything but right in there if you look you see the grease filling up in the tank so when we get this tank full we'll shut everything off and unhook it and be closer one step closer to being ready to go and so now there you go put that 55 gallons in there and there's already some in it so that'll get us for about a a week or a little more probably maybe two weeks all right so there you go that's how you put grease in the cotton picker see you soon hello everybody it's Ryan Jenkins with Jenkins Farms again so we're getting ever so close to being able to pick cotton we'll pick some this week the Lord willing uh, as soon as it fluffs back out and dries out we'll try to do that in the afternoons after we dig peanuts in the morning so we'll slowly get uh, moving into cotton hopefully this week so I was going to show you a little bit about the cotton picker today how it works I've showed you about the heads and now I'm going to show you how the baling part of it works so as you can tell right now it's in transport mode I'm going to show you how to get it out of transport mode into picking mode then we're going to load some wrap up We'll load it with grease. We've already fueled it up. We've already put water in it. So uh, we're getting close. One of the last things we need to do today is load wrap. So we're fixing to do that. Here we go. So I've already uh, changed modes in the cab where we can let it up and down with a tether. Chase is going to do that. You see the accumulator raising up there. And once it raises up, all this back here will start coming into place. And that's the baler. to start picking in the field. So now I gotta go change something else inside the cab and get it to where we can load the wrap up and I'll show you that in just a minute. I shut the machine off so you can hear us, but we had to let the tailgate down. Then we take these things that hold the wrap that Chase is taking off. We'll take those off. 
we bring them around here and he'll put it in but once it's put in it looks like this then the roll of wrap will actually the end of the roll of wrap will go in there that'll keep it from falling out then the whole tailgate will raise up and we'll start stacking them up there the rolls of wrap up there you can see they're pink pinks for breast cancer awareness and we definitely support that so for most of the cotton that we'll pick in October they'll all be wrapped in pink next we'll get our handles out of here to help us move the rolls of wrap and they're just glorified sticks basically that we'll use to help carry the wrap out to the picker so here are some of our rolls of wrap. We pre-order this in January, so we don't have to pay quite as much for it. It's very expensive. Each roll weighs 220 pounds. Um, each, each roll of cotton that we roll will have about four bales of cotton in it. So each roll of wrap will do an equivalent to six modules. Uh, of cotton, conventional type modules, the rectangular type modules you see of cotton. So we're going to load these up and we'll show you how we do it. Thank you. All right. So now we'll go inside and crank it up and we'll show you how it feeds it into the holder. All right. So just raise the tailgate up and I'll put it in position. Then we'll bring the handler down and let it get it and it'll roll it right up and pull it right up in there. be ready to load another roll. So to hold a total of five rolls of wrap. So that's enough to keep you picking basically all day. All right, see you soon. So we're gonna put it back in transport mode so we can pull it under the barn. And do a few more odds and ends on it and grease all the manual grease fittings that are on it. So this is how it goes back into transport mode. It's a lot shorter once it's in transport mode.